friends and welcome to another video. I hope you guys are enjoying this vegan in Korea series. This, these are all the places that we visited in Korea or ate at in Korea with vegan options or they were vegan restaurants. And yes, in today's video we're going to be doing sweet treats in Korea. This is kind of a follow on from the vegan bakeries in Korea video that I posted earlier. So if you haven't checked that out yet, you might want to do that because there are a lot of yummy things in that video too. This video is just going to have a couple more options, a couple more places you can go and some street food at the end which also are sweet treats. Alright, without further ado, let's get into the video. Now this was one of our favorite places to come in the afternoon for a little snack or a drink. It's a little place called Appang and it was run by the sweetest Korean family. Everything's vegan, they have a pretty big selection of smoothies and lattes and cakes. One of the first cakes we tried when we came here was the carrot cake, it's gluten free and it was so fluffy. I swear Koreans have a secret for making gluten free products fluffy because it was so good, even better than like a, a gluten cake guys I reckon. It was so delicious and moist and the icing wasn't too sweet which was really lovely and I can definitely recommend trying it if you come here. The drinks at Upbung did not come with plastic straws which was amazing and a very rare sight to see in Seoul. The first drink I tried was the banana latte which wasn't really a latte, it had no coffee or caffeine in it, it was kind of just like banana milk and it blew my mind. All their drinks or their latte drinks are made on homemade almond milk and they taste legit. Will got the choco coconut latte which was even better than my drink. It was so chocolatey and coconutty and full of flavor. I got this drink every on, on all the consecutive times that we came basically. On our second visit to Upbang, we both got the choco coconut lattes which were amazing again and I forgot to mention they also don't have coffee in them. I don't think any of the iced drinks lattes things have coffee in them. Anyway, we also got to try the homemade ice cream which was amazing because I had been craving ice cream because in Korea there is basically no trace of cold vegan dessert. So this was such a treat to find and it was so delicious, maybe a little bit icy but you could taste the love and the homemade homemadeness of the ice cream which I really liked. They have a really good selection of vegan goodies, none of them in plastic which is awesome and almost all of them are gluten free. We also tried the pumpkin cupcake, I think it was pumpkin, pretty sure it was pumpkin, um, and it was also really really good. Another vegan bakery that I visited in Seoul was Haymill and Haymill used to be a bread blue which I tried to visit in my other bakery video but I couldn't because they were having renovations. Um, the biggest thing that I didn't like about Haymill was probably that every single thing was wrapped in plastic but the owner was so nice and he started talking to me and I, I couldn't kind of leave without buying anything or I felt that I couldn't so I bought a couple of things and yeah. I'm human, sometimes I buy things in plastic and it's not great and I try not to but yeah this was just one of those times where I did. This is what I got, I got a selection of three things and he actually gave me something for free. The first thing I tried was the ham and cheese bread which did not taste like what you might think a ham and cheese bread would taste like. Kind of tasted more like sweet Asian bread with uh, like crazy sauces on top and it was savory and sweet and like just took me straight back to my childhood. I actually really really enjoyed this piece of bread. And this is definitely something I think everyone should try when they're in Korea. It's an iced sweet potato latte, no coffee, but the flavor is so delicious and apparently it's like a very Korean drink. So if you get to try this and when you come to Korea, please do. It is very awesome. Now I bought this mocha bun because I thought it was going to be like one of those Singaporean crispy cookie coffee kind of buns and the bread was really fluffy but the outside wasn't as crispy as I would have liked. So it was, it was okay. I also got a brownie which looked amazing but maybe it was a little bit dry I reckon for me so I probably wouldn't get that again. If you do come out to Haymill, you definitely need to get the sweet creamy delicious sweet potato latte. It is a must try. The Milk Factory in Gangnam and I'm really sorry about the stroby lights. It was like a Korea and my camera thing. Yeah, I didn't know how to stop it. 
Anyway, there are a couple of vegan cakes you can get here. It's a pretty kind of schmancy place that I kind of pictured Korean soccer mums bringing their, their boys for an after school snack. I got the avocado cream chocolate cake and I also ordered a matcha latte, but what came out was an iced coffee latte with a plastic straw and I also asked for no plastic straw. At least they got the almond milk right. But back to the cake. The cake itself was so beautiful. I mean, look at that. To tell you the truth, I'm not actually a chocolate cake person, so I'm probably not the best judge, but I thought it was a pretty good piece of chocolate cake. I mean, if you have the craving and you're in the area, you could come here. But me personally, you know, I probably wouldn't come out here just to get chocolate cake. Dalyang Vegan Cafe was such a sweet little cafe. I think it's actually in a school or a university. I think it's a university. We actually came here specifically to get soft serve and we came after we climbed Bukhansan Mountain. So Will is totally knackered this afternoon. He didn't want to come, but I was like, let's get soft serve because I had seen so much other soft serve in Seoul and there was no vegan ice cream anywhere. And I was like, I want that ice cream. So we came and it was totally worth it. It was so creamy and vanilla-y and just, oh. I think this was one of the most delicious soft serves I had in all of Korea and Japan. So. It's a little bit far out, so I would recommend probably only coming here if you're gonna do Bukhansan. Come here after, get your ice cream, and you will have a happy time. Another place you can come to get a treat or a drink is Plant Cafe in Itaewon. Plant Cafe is a little bit bougie and a little bit trendy. It's the vegan cafe in Seoul that serves kind of Western food, but actually the food and the drinks are all really amazing. It's the kind of place where you could get a green smoothie if you wanted it, and that is exactly what Will got. He got the Power Green Smoothie, which was a banana, spirulina, chia seed, and peanut butter smoothie, and he said it was absolutely delicious, and I think you can trust him when it comes to smoothies. I, on the other hand, got an iced pumpkin spice latte because I'm basic, and it was really good. I always forget that pumpkin spice lattes are supposed to have coffee in them because everywhere I've had one in Australia, it hasn't had coffee in it and it was just kind of confusing. Anyway, I still found this to be very enjoyable. The whipped cream on top really made this like deluxe. Yeah, the cream was sensational. I can highly recommend coming to plant and trying some of their drinks or their treats while you're here because everything they have is very high quality. Also, they don't have plastic straws. <laughs> And now we are up to the street food section, kind of, of this video. This drink is called shike and it is a fermented kind of rice malt barley drink and it is so delicious and very refreshing. We first tried it when we went to Osegyang restaurant in Insedong and it was really good. Here they have it in like an organic version so it's kind of schmancy but it is more expensive. Ooh. This one was kind of darker than some of the other shike that we found at the street food markets and but yeah all of them were really good. This was shike from Gwangjang Market and yeah I enjoyed all the shike that we had. Another very popular sweet street food kind of treat is the mochi and here at Myeongdong you can find the strawberry mochi which is absolutely delicious. I think this is my preferred form of mochi. It is packed with red bean, the mochi dough is so chewy and the fresh strawberries give it some zing. We also visited Tongan Market quite a lot to get this other chapsal tok for Will, which he much preferred. Didn't have strawberry in it, but it was also pretty good. 안녕하세요. Welcome to Will's Mochi Adventure, where Will eats mochi. Today, Will will be eating mochi, starting with a mochi. Uh, will doesn't know the difference between any of these, so here, here, here we go. Korean donuts and there are actually quite a lot of Korean donut shops scattered all over Seoul and I found this one on the way to Mangwon Market from Mangwon Station and I asked if their chapsal donuts had milk or egg in them and they said nothing at their shop 
had milk or egg in them, which was fantastic for me. So I went ahead and got me some donuts. It's a sticky glutinous rice flour based donut. And I love these. I've had a few vegan ones in Australia. And this one feels extra crispy and it's hot. I'm gonna take a bite. Mmm. It's so sticky and chewy and the red bean is delicious. It's not too oily and she didn't put too much sugar on it so it's not very sweet which is really nice. That red bean is so hot. This is so nice. It's really good. I love it. I think I'm near Mangwon Station and yeah it's just on the way to Mangwon Market if you're walking from the station. That's the vegan donut shop. I found that the chop style donuts were vegan at most places, including at Nendamun Market. If you guys have watched my street food video already, you will know that I was so stoked to find that this fried banana was fried in a vegan batter. To make it vegan, all you need to do is ask for no condensed milk on top and it's vegan. They are crumbed in panko breadcrumbs and cornflakes and then it's just topped with tapioca pearls. And it, these were just so delicious. The banana was all melty inside, topped with tapioca pearls, which are of course vegan. And yeah, it was such a treat. Another one of my favorite street foods has to be this brown sugar and cinnamon filled hot dog pancakes. The hot dog bread dough is usually always vegan, so these are pretty easy to find at street food places. And mm, it is, it's just so good. The brown sugar melts inside with the cinnamon and it's all gooey and sticky. And it really isn't too sweet. It's just so damn delicious. Make sure you seize every opportunity that you can to eat hot dog in Seoul because it is so delicious. I also have a recipe video if you guys want to check that out. And that's it for this video. Don't forget to check out the full ultimate street food video if you want to see all the street food that we ate in Seoul. That's probably my favorite video so far from Seoul. And yeah, I will see you guys very soon for another vid. So don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much. See you later.